Hello time travelers. This week I'm doing a video on an update on my wrecked car and what I'm doing to get it fixed. This is my look of disapproval. As you can see, it's all wrecked and nasty. If you are not subscribers or whatever, you haven't seen the videos before about the car. Hey, this is future me here to fill in context for stuff I forgot to say. <sighs> Anybody's asking, what kind of car is that? Well, it's a 1979 Nova. It should look like this, but it doesn't. More on this soon. And what happened to it? I got in a wreck. And more information on that, you can click this video up here. Boop. Okay, moving on. <laughs> There's my steering wheel, aftermarket steering wheel. That's what was on the car when I got it. And it's shoved back there under the tire because when I shoved this out to get out of the car, it yeah, got shoved under the tire. All right, come on, Gimbal, fuck us. There we go. I had to replace the lock cylinder in here, as well as the turn signal switch, which is behind here, I'll show you. This thingy what's it is the turn signal switch. Check it out. And the other one is all broken. Do I, do I still have the other one? Must have tossed it. It got tossed. Yeah, it got tossed and it's sitting right outside the door laying on the ground. But doing this is super awkward. And I got grease on my hand because this fell in my freaking lap. Ugh. Mm, I shouldn't wipe things on my pants. I need a rag. What am I doing? Stop! But this thing goes on there somehow, somewhere. And then this metal what's it goes on there. And let's say you turn on the right turn signal. And it's supposed to click and I made it work before. Well, it's not doing it right now. You're just gonna have to believe me. <sighs> but when the steering wheel was on before, it was kind of like to the right. And I thought it was because it was an aftermarket steering wheel. But now I'm thinking that they had this in there the wrong way. Cause I tried to put this thing back in and yeah, future me explaining more context that I forgot to say. When I was trying to put that clamp thingy, what's it down? It bent that metal plate all out of shape and I went, I was like, okay, stop recording my how to do this thing on a Nova video and go inside and stare at eBay for a couple hours and try to find a replacement part that I couldn't find and I couldn't find it anywhere. Not even classicindustries.com has it. Dirks, they should have it. And none of the other websites had it either. And if you think you found it on a website, don't link me to the website, link me to the actual item and put that in the comments. Thanks, and it's called a steering wheel lock plate, by the way. And here's one from a different year or something, I'm not sure, but it doesn't match, so I can't use it. It's all I could find. So, I sort of straightened it out with two vice grips, and hopefully it'll work whenever I get the motivation to put it back together. But I am going to have to watch the footage I recorded of me taking it apart and do screen caps so I know what order to put it back together in and where all the parts go. Lame! It's really awkward and weird how you do it. You gotta use this thingy, what's it? And this middle part screws onto there. And then you spin this around to tighten it, as you could see. Focus with my nose. As you could see, the wing nut things broke off. Cause I was like, why won't it go down? And as you tighten it, what it does is it pushes this down and compresses the string that you saw on a previous scene. And then you take this metal clip and it goes on there and holds it. See the groove where the clip goes in? Bug on my neck! Freaking summer. And then you can put the other stuff on, which is like, that thingy what's it? And how am I supposed to know which way it goes? It says top A, top B, and then over here it says smudgy, really old and hard to read. No, that's a stamped part number, I think. Glad I have a light in my hand. And somewhere in there goes this. I'm gonna have to watch my previous recording. So that is gonna be future videos once I get around to editing them. I'm gonna put this gimbal down. And now for this week's tech thing, which I didn't even look up until now. AMD Super Computer. Someone told me about it and said it would be a cool tech thing for my video. They're a subscriber. So thank you, the IT guy, for always joining my live streams and telling me about stuff. And Tom's Hardware, let's read that article. Frontier Supercomputer breaks the exascale barrier, now fastest in the world. 
AMD powered Frontier supercomputer is now the first officially recognized exos ex exascale supercomputer in the world, topping 1.102 exaflops. Well, floppy, floppy, floppy. Why do they use the word flops? I don't know. During a sustained Linpack run, I don't know what that means. But I'm going to link this article in the descriptables if you want to read about it. But AMD has been really, really competitive since 2017 or something. Uh, whenever their Ryzen chip came out. And Intel's been trying real hard to keep up. And the factory that makes all of Intel's chips, some of it burned down. It's a company called TSMC and they're like on their own island or something. And it, it burned down like a couple months after the lockdown started from like human malware. And they're still rebuilding. But Intel's like, hey, we got to catch up with AMD. And they're building a factory in Columbus, Ohio here now, which is really cool. And I think the second reason Intel's building the factory is because of the tariffs that Trump put on importing tech. And now enjoy this random thing. This random thing's a thing that my dad texted me. And it's this picture meme thing. It's this, these porch pirates have really upped their game <laughs> with a picture of an Amazon truck being towed as if the whole truck was stolen. What's up with the rag hanging out the back? Hmm. Hmm. And I said, well, nice. I'm going to use that for the random thing. And this dad joke, I guess. Eh, I guess it's not really. Yeah, call this a bonus random thing. Because I grabbed it because it's a car thing since I'm standing on my car. And, you know, it's Doc Brown and Marty McFly in the, at the DeLorean. It says, where are you going, Doc? He says, back to 1998, Marty, to fill the tank up. Because gasoline's so expensive. Apparently, that's not a dad joke. I need a dad joke. Oh, I found one. It's actually car related. It's great. My dad sent me this too. And it's from the Facebook page, Mopar Style, the visual art. And it says, where's to live by? Race car backwards is race car. Race car upside down is expensive. That's funny. Oh, my alarm on my watch is going off because I'm filming this during my lunch break while teleworking. Isn't that awkward? Actually, actually it is going off, seriously. I gotta run back inside and clock back in. Um, so, if you wanna see what happened to my car, eh, eh, click this video over here and click down here for whatever video YouTube thinks is best. Subscribe to the channel over here and check out my music soundtrack because I make my own music. All right, okay, bye. Uh, we'll just put that back. Uh, turn the light off.